Well, this is part five of the G4 PowerBook art conversion project. And I've been cutting down the square acrylic rod. And we've made a lot of progress. I also got the hinge cut down there. And that's looking real good. And we've been slowly dry fitting the parts together. And I've actually started gluing up some things. And I'll tell you, these little uh, chop saws, these are really nice. Um, like I said, when I used to do stained glass, I, this is how you would cut the, the lead when you did the frames on them and stuff like that. Uh, it just makes real quick work of it. But like I said, you can cut plastic, you can cut different types of metal. Not much of a limitation because you can get different types of blade for these things too. But yeah, just a cool little thing to have if you don't have one. All right, so we've got our hinge cut down here, and this is the proper length that will go onto the keyboard. And so basically it's going to kind of go in like this here. It'll fit up in there. There's adhesive on this, and I'm gonna put it under a backer on top of this so it doesn't come loose. And this bottom part is gonna go on that acrylic rod that I've been uh, working on. And that's the final dimension. I've got it all glued up. And the only thing I have to do on this is just kind of polish it up a little bit here. And we're good. But this whole thing, this sub-assembly is pretty much all complete. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, mount this hinge on the proper position here because when I glue this thing down on the acrylic back that we had made for it, I just get one time to do it. So that's why I'm getting all this stuff dry fitted together. This will get attached first on the acrylic. All these rods will get a special type of glue that is specifically made for the acrylic plastic. And you get about five seconds once it makes contact. And after that, if you don't have it right, it's permanent. Then once I have that in the position, then the next thing that will go down will be our acrylic rod here. This is going to be for our keyboard support. And this is pretty much right where it's going to go. It's just going to go just a little bit above the uh, ribbon cable there. I'm going to have plenty of room to open and close this. These cables are actually pretty long here and it works out in our favor. So basically we'll feed it underneath there, hook it up, and like I said, it'll go like that. It'll lay down, it'll go like that. And so that'll be pretty good when we're all done with it there. And I always get a couple of extra parts just in case you mess one up, you get another one as a backup. But you can see that this is the original length and this is how much we had to cut it down right there to fit in between that keyboard that spot on it there so yeah and uh kind of squeaky but they won't be when we get them all in there we have we have a solution for that so yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh, attach this hinge on there and then uh, after that then we are going to be getting ready to put it down on the acrylic back plate so what i have to do is i have to kind of line this up here so I want it to be in the center logic board here. I've already got this spaced where I need it to space it. And then what I do is I will just move this just a little bit there. And then that way it's going to be even on the uh, logic board there. Maybe just a little bit more here. There we go. So yeah, that's going to look pretty good there. We'll get that all mounted up there. It'll look good. And it's going to go along this part right here. So the other part's going to stick here. It's going to go up basically to the edge. And the inside here, I've got something that's going to go up inside here to kind of make it a little bit more rigid. And that should work pretty good there. And like I said, these cables are, are going to be plenty long for what we're going to do. Because like I said, we are right over the where they connect. So that's going to give us lots of mobility there. All right, so I got the uh, hinge mounted on that acrylic there. 
Now what I will do is I'll put a little heat on it here. Uh, there's just a couple little spots there. It's really cold out in the garage, so I'll heat that up and then I'll make it just seal down really good there. But this thing is, this adhesive that they use on these hinges is just incredibly strong. You just about need a crowbar to pry that thing off of there. It's pretty interesting. But anyway, yeah, so it is in the right position there. Like I said, I just have to do a little polish here on this here. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to heat this portion up here on the acrylic because there's some little air bubbles in here and I want this to really bond good to the acrylic. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my rework station and we're going to uh, flow some uh, heat on here. And we don't need it very hot, just a couple hundred degrees to, to do what we need to do here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up here and we're just gonna kinda heat that up there a real, little bit there. Try not to cook my fingers here. And just enough to kinda draw the heat down on it here. This is how you work with uh, certain adhesives on acrylic. Acrylic is very thermal sensitive. And you can do some really neat things with it, unlike other plastics. So I'm just taking and I don't want to touch the tip of it on here because I don't want to make a mess here. And we're going to hit this side of it here. I'm just doing the very edge of it here. And then what I want to do is, like I said, as I work it through here, you see it's getting more crystal clear. And that's that I know that the, it's uh, sealing very good down on it. Now, like I said, um, if we try to peel this off, we're going to have a real hard time because it really bonds good to this acrylic. I forget what the uh, grip strength is on this glue, but it's pretty impressive. So yeah, so we're just kind of working over a little bit more here. Like I said, I don't have it super, super hot. I don't want to burn my hand here. It's just enough to uh, get the air bubbles out of it. That's all we're doing. Warming the, ma the material up. That's looking pretty good though now. I'm very happy at that. Because it went nice and clear. Just hit it one more time here. Just letting it heat up there. And this is quite warm, but we got all the uh, air bubbles out. That's as good as we're going to get it there. Get back here just a little bit here. A little bit there. There we go. looks pretty good. I'm very uh, pleased with that. Let me go uh, turn this off here. Make sure we don't have anything in the way there. It'll turn itself off just in a minute here. But yeah, that came out really good. Uh, again, we'll get rid of that squeak. But yeah, it looks really good. It sealed down really good on there. There's a couple of little things, and there's just a little imperfection in the hinge there, but it looks pretty darn good. I'm very pleased with that. So, yeah. 
So that is how you get adhesive to really stick to something is by warming it up between two surfaces of the acrylic and it really is like I said it ain't it ain't gonna come off of there now so good so there we go that's gonna look real good there it's gonna kind of I'll swing this over just a little bit see it's gonna kind of go over in this area here right about there and I'm just gonna go like this and then the keyboard will go on top of this here it'll be mounted on top of that and then it'll be up like that and speaking of neat things i just want to let everybody know about our channel sponsor bcb way and they can do all kinds of neat stuff like this and they offer a variety of services like pcb prototyping pcb assembly flex rigid flex pcb cnc machining 3d printing offering you the best value fast turnaround one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. So please give PCBWay a try. They do all kinds of neat things. There's no limit to what they can do. And this project's been going on for quite a while, but I want to make sure that I do a good job on it. I want to make sure that people can appreciate it when they see it once it's all completed. And you're really only limited by your imagination. That's the way I look at it. That's why you want to dry fit parts, kind of brainstorm a little bit, and kind of think, well, how can I do this? But yeah, like I said, I'm very eager to get this thing done. And I think it's going to look really, really awesome hanging on the wall. And you can go up to it, turn it on, have some cool lights, play some games, get on the internet, do whatever you want. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. We are on Twitter, we're on MeWe, and we're also on Mastodon. You can catch me on those social networks. And also I stream on Rumble and Odyssey. You can catch me on those two platforms as well. So we'll be on part six next time. And that's when the exciting stuff's really going to start taking shape. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.